Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to 2017. It's a whirlwind, you guys. I can't even believe that we are here. Welcome back, guys. How you doing? I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, comment down below and share with me what's happening in your lives. Can you believe that it's 2017? Because I can't. That being said, though, I'm really excited for 2017. I just feel like I'm starting off this year in a good place. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, then you know I've done New Year's resolution videos in the past where I have shared just goals that I have for the upcoming year and a lot of them have been like pretty lofty, <laughs> pretty weighty goals. Um, good goals, but realistically, post three babies, Jamie looks back at those goals and I'm like, girl, cut yourself some slack because you ain't never gonna do that. For me personally, this year in 2017, um, I wanted to focus on like really mainly one area of my life. I pick a word of the year every year. I've been doing it for about five or six years now. To give you guys an example, the year that my daughter was born, my word was joy. And we were going through a super intense, hard season when she was born. And so I picked joy simply because it was something that was hard for me to attain. So I really wanted to focus on that. And Fiona, my daughter, she just has this spirit of joy about her. And so I've always loved picking words for each year to focus on. I feel like it's really beneficial for me. And it keeps it simplistic, but intentional, if that makes sense. So this year's word for me is contentment. And this really falls in all aspects of my life. I've embarked on this journey towards living more of a minimalistic lifestyle over the last year. And really coming into 2017, I feel like I am like really being intentional about this lifestyle choice. But the root of all of this drive for minimalism and this drive for finding the joy and the peace in the simple life really comes from a lack of contentment, discontentment. I found myself searching for happiness and contentment and peace and joy from things that will never give that to me. And so this year, my goal is really to be content, to be content with everything the Lord has given to me, to be content in my family, whether we have more kids or whether we don't have more kids. I wanna be content with the kids that I have. I wanna be content in the season that I'm in. And I know that I'm not going to be content in every aspect, but that's the point. The point is to be intentional about striving to find contentment in those areas of my life. I wanna be content in my spending, in my groceries, in my, all of that kind of financial aspect. Um, not having contentment in that area has, I feel like, held me back from saving more money, from um, making wiser choices, from using the things that I already have and finding joy and purpose in those. And so I wanna be content in the things that I have in my house already. I don't wanna be bringing more things in. I don't wanna be bringing more products in. I don't wanna be consuming more because the drive to consume more is a lie. It's a joke. We will never find happiness and contentment in things. We, we just won't. And it's evident in all of the products and all of the things that are constantly being marketed to people because if we found true contentment in those things, we wouldn't want more things, right? There wouldn't be a need to constantly be putting out more stuff for people to consume if they found true contentment. And so for me, it's gonna be filling my mind with scripture, filling my heart and my soul with things that do bring me contentment and just focusing on that contentment through this year. Comment down below and share with me, do you have a word for this year? Um, have you picked one? Are you going to? Has this spurred you on? Or maybe a past year, a cool testimony that you have of a word that you chose and how it rocked your world that year. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys next time.